one of the most complex junctions and challenging junctions often in a low energy building are thresholds and op dealing with opaque elements and how they rest on the structural fabric. Um, for example, large slider doors, windows and other elements. A key area to address is how to maintain thermal continuity where these meet the external envelope. So Roman, in your passive house I see you've a large um, triple glaze slider door here resting on the foundation. Could you just run through how you thermally separated it and maintain continuity at that point down here? Yeah, so um, I always wanted a full concrete slab foundation. Mm -hmm. So this is definitely in the cold. Mm -hmm. And um, now the challenge was a bit like how, how do I keep this whole area warm, let's okay. say. So um, underneath here, I have a thermal block bringing it up to this level. Okay. And from here on, I have a 50 mil BOSIC board, which is um, structural load bearing, mm -hmm. uh, water um, resistant or waterproof, mm -hmm. um, but also insulating. Okay. So that's the perfect kind of base for my big sliders to rest on. Okay. And um, the belt and braces approach, or like a good practice approach is I use the extra seal and core, which is a waterproofing tape um, okay. all around the base. And it's going from the inside here where you can see it all the way to the outside to the face of the block. Okay. And it also kind of goes seamless around that corner here. I see. So if I ever made a little mistake somewhere or any water running down here, I can be sure that I will never have water dripping into my actual foundation. Okay. And the last one here then separating the window from the BOSIC is, you can see like a, just a bit of sheet foil there. Okay. Filling, filling the wee gaps, you know, that we needed to get the, get the slider in the right okay. position. So to recap there, Roman, you have a concrete base subfloor, and um, you'll have a radon barrier here, and then you're going to have what depth of insulation running up here? Oh yeah, that's, um, <coughs> that's another key side. point. It's uh, 280 mil of insulation. Okay going up to here and then it's uh, uh, about 80 mil screed. Yeah. Uh, so that's going to be finished floor level in and around here. Okay, so the screed will, while you have the EPS down here meeting the thermal block, it's where the screed above that EPS will meet the BOSIC and then the BOSIC funnel term is thermally breaking that point to reduce heat transmission out. That's correct. I also yeah. will stop the screed a bit short here mm -hmm. and have a, a small line of insulation in addition here. So Very good. in the end, it all lines up with the BOSIC board, the thermal blocks and mm -hmm. um, the under screed insulation. Okay. In a seamless line. Okay, so in my experience when I visit sites on occasion, it's not unusual to see shuttered concrete just placed beneath a slider. And then yes. you've got a huge thermal bridge at that point. So this is what, just one way of addressing that. Of course, you could externally insulate it as well. But what you're doing here is you have so much insulation here with the funnel term and the insulation there. You've now thermally broken that point. So that's a key as aspect for that comfort is. and reducing thermal bridging at that point. Yeah. Um, so in terms of the, the finished floor, we'll run up to that. That's going to finish at this point here. When we're just looking at that junction could you explain how then you achieve air tightness continuity from beneath the slider back to the screed what yeah. do you plan to do <clears throat> now that's a little bit of an unusual detail here as in um i would norm i don't normally like using the radon membrane as mm. my airtight tight layer even mm -hmm. so it should be a uh, radon tight mm. but here it just led to it that i'm bringing a tape now first of all i'm sealing the radon tape onto the extra seal for my radon tightness. Okay. And from there on, I use um, a window tape from Proclima. Okay. To bring it from the bottom of the slider onto the radon. Okay. And the radon then goes down, meeting okay. the subfloor here. Right. And it's a little hard to spread it on, you actually see it. Um, the radon, I glued it with uh, the airtight glue or conf okay. onto the subfloor. And the subfloor then is obviously is completely airtight. Okay. And so this is my designed airtightness line. Uh, window, radon barrier, glued to the concrete. But at a later stage and before I install my insulation, 
I will complete my radon hmm. barrier. So there's a okay. radon tape going on top here, and then I complete the radon barrier on top of my soup. Okay. And I assume you carry out an intermediate air tightness test before you put in the insulation here. Um, Not that there will be, but in case there's leaks. But I, d I doubt there will be any. Absolutely do, and it's always best practice to mm. do a test before you cover up any of your air tightness uh, layers. Mm. Um, just double check it, peace of mind. Yeah. And yeah. Brilliant. So now you've got thermal continuity through the use of the Bosic Fono term, the insulate bit of sheep wool in there just stuffing that joint. Um, you've also got the thermal block there, and you've got the insulation here. Combined with that thermal continuity, you've got air tightness continuity. So now you've both ticked the box for air tightness and insulation. And on the outside, with the x -do seal end cores running out below the window, and as you see here, up the sides also, you've created a nice flashing tray. So your weather tightness on the outside is also addressed. So you're really ticking the box there on three key aspects, aren't you? Insulation, air tightness, and weather tightness. Absolutely, yeah. And I mean, okay. that was the plan all along. And um, while air tightness obviously is important, I'd say mm. waterproofing is equally or if yeah. not more important in a different way. Okay. Um, so what you said here, I always like to bring it up at least six inches and basically have a complete watertight bottom all along here, yeah. Brilliant.